Hey guys, Dr. Brown here again, and we have another one of these crazy division problems. So you fourth through sixth graders, or anybody else that dares to venture into this, we're trying to look at this problem, and we're going to solve for A, B, C, D, E, and F. Whoa, how do we do this? Well, as we've stated previously, we just began. We just start walking through the process of division because we're taking, well, and multiplication because we have A0, 8A0 divided by EF. All right, so let's walk through the multiplication of this. We have B times F equals B. Well, that's kind of weird. Unless B is... 1, or excuse me, if F is 1, which would be the identity, that could be, but 8 minus B is 6. Well, that makes you think that B equals 2. So let's hold that thought. B, we think, equals 2. Now, B times E equals 9. Well, what times 2 equals 9? We're dealing with integers. Now, I should say A through F, they're all integers from 0 through 9, and they don't repeat. So if we end up stating B is 2, no other, you know, A, C, D, E, and F can't be 2 also. So keep that in mind. So now, what times 2 equals 9? Well, it makes you think 2 times 8 is, or 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. Well, if 2 times 4 is 8, if I had B uh, being a 12 instead of a 2, you know, if I had a carry, now B itself can't be 2, but, but that could be a number that gives me a carry. Hmm. So B times F, B times, I'll use a dot for multiplication, equals B times F equals B. Now we think maybe that means it's two digits and a carry over. Because I have a 9 here instead of an 8. Oh. All right, let's keep thinking. A0, so B times F equals B. B, or 8 minus B equals 6. So we're thinking that digit is 2. Now then, B times E equals 9. B times E equals 9. But A0 minus 9 equals A. A0 minus 9, A0 minus 9 equals A. That's a 9. Well, if that number ends in 0, A0, A0, well, what does that mean? A0, A0. Well, if, if 9... 9 minus A0 is 9. If, if A is 1, that would be 10. 10 minus 9 would give me 1. Oh, that would work. Hmm. So let's let A equal 1. This is our thinking at the moment. So we think A is 1, and we think B is 2. B is 2, because 8 minus B is 6, so 8 minus 2 is 6, so with the, we're pretty confident in that one. And we're thinking A is 1. All right, let's bring down the A. Bring down this number. A6A, so we're thinking that's A61. Well, 1 minus 8 is C. Well, I'm going to, I need to borrow, a, if that's a 1, I need to borrow from this 6, leaving it to be a 5. 
and we were thinking B is 2. 5 minus C is 2. So C, if that's true, which we're confident B is 2, so 5 minus 3 would equal 2. So C would equal 3. Okay, we're thinking that's a 3. Now, what do we need? Uh, we have A was 1, so 1, 5, 1. So A minus 8, 11 minus 8 was C, which was 3, so that would work. 5 minus C was 2, so C is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0, so that would work out also. Now then, we bring, bring down the 0 from here. Now we have 2, 3, 0 minus B, C, 0 equals 0. 2, 3, 0. Now we said C was 3. So 3 times EF, 3 times E. Excuse me, I've got, <coughs> I've got to cough just a minute. Sorry, <coughs> Sorry I've had a cold. It's just getting over it. All right, when we work through this, the math here, this was C times EF. C times EF equals AC8, which we're thinking A was 1, C is 3. So 1, 3, 8, which is 3 times EF. 3 times EF, should use the same, EF equals AC8 which we're saying that is 138. Well, what does that mean? If I divide both sides by 3, that would equal EF. So that's 138 divided by 3. Well, 4 times 3 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. Bring down the 8. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So E would be 4. F would be 6, if that's true. Only thing we lack now, if we're okay, is D. Now D times EF gives me BC0. And we're saying B was 2, C was 3, so 230, B, C, 0, so this is 230. So we're saying D times 46 equals 230. So if I divide both sides by 46, that would equal D. D equals, okay, we've got 230 divided by 46. Well, it needs to be 5, let's see, yeah, 5. 5 times 6 is 30. Five, carry the 3. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. And that would equal 0. So 5. D is equal to 5. Alright, let's see what all we have and see if it works out. All right, so we have one zero eight one zero divided by forty six. All right, so forty six will go into one hundred and it won't go into ten. So will it go into one o eight? Let's say two times two times six is twelve. Carry the one two times four is eight and one is nine. So eight. Minus 2 is 6. There's our B. Hey, hey. 10 minus 1 is uh, A, which was 1. Bring down the 1. All right. 46 to go into this three times. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 8 from 11. Of course, I have to borrow 1 to get that 11 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. Bring down the 0. 
All right, now then, so five times six is 30. Carry the three. Five times four is 20, plus three is 23. 230 minus 230 is zero. So A0, 8A0 divided by EF is BCD. A equals one, B equals two, C equals three. What was D? D equals five, E equals four, F equals six. And that, my friend, is our answer. I know you guys like these crazy problems <laughs> for some reason, but it helps, you know, it helps you walk through the process of multiplication and division and use some logic to your answer. Okay, that's all for now. Keep studying, guys, because together we're going to build a better tomorrow. Okay, all for now. Take care.